In this video tutorial, you will learn how to create a documentation site for free and easily. Docuo is a free platform that is helpful to generate documentation website for your projects. With Docuo it is easy to build a self-service knowledge base for your customers and developers. With Docuo you don't have to use HTML, CSS or anything to create a documentation website, you can create it just by using your GitHub repository. It allows you to create and customize your documentation website with minimal steps. And it also offers a lot of features like styling, versioning, analytics, search engine optimization, etc. Docuo also provides additional free tools such as CodeShot and CodeShare. With CodeShot you can convert your code into images. And with CodeShare you can share your code snippet to others. And since Docuo is lightweight and AI-powered, it reduces your time and effort by 70%. So don't wait. Click on the link in the description and start creating your documentation site for free. Now let me show you how to create a documentation site using Docuo. First click on the link in the description or type spreading.ai in your browser and click start for free. And then complete the onboarding by filling in the appropriate details. Then, after verifying your mail, you'll be led to this page. Sign in with your GitHub account and then create a repository and a subdomain from here. Then click on Complete. This is our Docuo dashboard. Here we can see our documentation site preview, repository details, update history, etc. This is our repository where the files of our documentation site is placed. When newly created, Docuo will display its own documentation in our site. That's why the status of our site is showing as updating here. After the site is updated the status of our site turns to green. Now let's have a look at our site by clicking on this link here. As you can see, now it shows Docuo's documentation. You can customize your site name and icon from here. In our repository, this file contains the structure of our site. You can customize the header footer and social links from here. The sidebar here is responsible for showing our pages in the site. Now let's delete Docuo's files and then let's edit our sidebar.json file. Let's now remove the existing structure of the sidebar and let's add a new structure. For this tutorial, I'm using a simple documentation content generated by ChatGPT. In our sidebar.json file, let's create this seven sections of content for our site. Here the ID will be the path where the page of this particular section will exist. In our case, we'll be adding our pages inside a folder named Documents. The text after Documents is the file name of the page. We don't need to add file extensions and we don't need to care about case-sensitive. Docuo's AI will automatically sort it out. 
The label here will be the title of the page. Let's copy this and use it for the other sections below. Let's give the label and ID of each section and then let's create each page inside documents folder. Now we have added all the sections, their ID and label. Let's commit the changes. Now let's start creating the pages for each sections. As mentioned in sidebar.json file we'll create all our pages inside a folder named documents. We should create our pages with the file extension .mdx. Now let's fill the page with some content. Adding content to your web page is simple as creating readme file in GitHub, and you don't need to code anything. To add heading text you need to use hash. And you can add heading text size from h1 to h6 by adding more hashtags before the text. Now let's create all the other pages. Here let's add list for the features and let's make the feature text bolder. We can add hyphen in front of each line items to create lists. And to make text bolder we have to use two asterisks on the front and behind the text which we want to make bold.
The double hash symbol means that the text size will be h2. Here let's create a number list by adding number in front of the line. We have created all the pages successfully. Now let's trigger update from our Docuo dashboard to make the changes visible in our documentation page. You can also enable automatic update trigger by authorizing Docuo in GitHub. If automatic update is enabled, your website will be updated automatically when you make changes in the repository. Normally it will take two minutes or more for changes to be visible. I've cropped the waiting time to make this video duration shorter. Now let's check out our site. As you can see, our new content is updated here. Here you can see the list and bold text we added. Here you can see the number list. You can set your own social links here and you can also change the icons and site name. Let's now change the site name from our Docuo dashboard. Here we can paste the link where to be redirected when the icon is clicked. Let's now save this. As you can see, the site name has been updated. I've only covered a tip of the iceberg in this tutorial. Check out Docuo's documentation website to learn how to add various other elements in your site. With Docuo you can use different text format, lists, links, quotes, divider, tables, etc. You can also add code blocks and code groups like this in your documentation website easily with Docuo. And finally you can also add images and videos from YouTube, Vimeo, and Loom easily. That's it for this tutorial. Make sure to check out Docuo by clicking on the link in description now. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and thanks for watching.